Morning everybody. Um, I've just been standing over there, you probably heard me in the background, uh, watching people join up and sign in and so on. So we've got a lot of the old faces, lots of people who've been on the classes. Um, so that's great to see. Um, I'm looking over because I can see Helena reading all the comments here. Um, I'll do what I did last time. So I'll introduce you to, the, to who's doing this, who's doing the, the teamwork here, and then we'll get on to what we're gonna cook and how we're gonna do it today. So I'm gonna steal this from Andrea. She's attached by a lead, so I won't go too far. Uh, there's Andrea, she's our camera person today. Uh, my sister-in-law living with us at the moment. And then we've got Helena over here. Uh, she's watching all the questions, taking, the, taking down the relevant ones. So um, feel free to ask any questions you want uh, and we'll get to those as we go through. Um, obviously, um, there's a few less than we did a couple of weeks ago, but we totally expected that. I'm blown away that there's how many people are on. So this is great. Um, so I'll pass you back to Andy. So we thought today we'd do something completely different. Last time was about lamb, was about um, uh, cooking for Easter, uh, but we're all locked in, so we thought we'd do some really nasty, junky food. Um, a Saturday night takeaway, as we called it. So we're gonna cook, um, we're gonna be using the Big Green Egg Wok. Um, new product they brought out last year, so we're gonna use this, and we're gonna do uh, um, some Chinese, uh, make it a little bit different. Um, we've got an egg already fired up here, the same one we used last time. Uh, I'll open that up in a minute. Um, but as we go through, if there are questions you want us to answer, we can always fire up some of the others. Uh, last time we got a lot of questions on loading and lighting and how we do it. So um, if you want to hang around at the end, we'll, do, we'll cover that and we can fire up one of the other eggs over here. So that's the plan. Um, we've got about 55 minutes. What we learned last time, Instagram TV shuts off after an hour. So we're gonna, that will be our hard end point. We started this just a little bit early. Uh, uh, earlier than, than I came on uh, so we'll cut off after about 55 minutes uh, as ever this will stay live on the uh, my Instagram channel for I think it's a day and after that it's gone so enjoy it while it's there um, I'll give you links to to the books that we've used uh, the recipes from um, I'll put those up on the website and maybe we'll even post the recipes so let's get straight into it so Andy come on over um, as I said last time, I think it's going to be very much like Keith Floyd and uh, Joe Wicks. We'll take the questions a bit like Joe Wicks, but keep, I'll do the Keith Floyd bit, you know, jumping. In. Andy, look at this, do that. So, uh, so what you'll see, uh, we've got an egg here. Uh, it's on, it's nice and warm, sitting at 180 degrees. Um, and all I've got inside this egg, if you want to have a little peer in, Andy, is we have uh, the expander fire basket. And you can see it's got this... Um, uh, round bit in the middle and that is designed to hold our wok so all I'm going to do is drop my wok in there and let that I'm just going to level it up let that start warming up I'll open the egg a little bit 180 but what I will do is drop it back what we want we want to be in control here so we're going to be cooking quite a lot of the time with the lid open um, using uh, the spoon that comes or the ladle that comes with the wok um, but a lot of the time we want the lid down so that we, we're, we're controlling that airflow and not letting the temperature get too hot. We don't want to burn anything. So, what are we going to cook? Andy, come on over. Um, first of all, we're going to do the, the, um, some egg fried rice. So, uh, egg, bit of rice, and I've got some peas and some spring onions, a little bit of uh, soy sauce, some oyster sauce, a little bit of sesame, and we're going to mix all of those together and make some egg fried rice. I'm going to cook three dishes and they're all going to be done in the same wok um, so we're going to cook that one first uh, second dish we're going to do is a chicken stir fry and uh, we've got some garlic and some ginger some chili um, some onions some carrots uh, bamboo shoots and some chestnuts and again some sauces so that'll be our second cook and then the final cook um, is going to be just a vegetable stir fry except i'm going to add some prawns to it today because we can and we're going to have a few cashew nuts uh, that goes with the chicken dish to go over the top and then we're going to serve it really glamorously in our takeaway trays um, so that you can box it all up or you can eat it whenever you're ready so let's do it let's see how we're doing this wok so we're a little bit low on temperature so i'm going to open it up a bit but if we get in here i'm going to use i've got ground nut oil in here so we'll get some ground nut oil in you can see it's relatively hot I might wait, wait, uh, wait a minute or two longer just for that to heat up a little bit more uh, and then we'll get the rice in there. So 
Um, are there any questions, Helena, while we're while um, we're waiting? One um, is the green egg going to do a so twittery thing as uh, the Cavazzo gave us? Okay, so uh, the question is, is Big Green Egg going to do a jotisserie in the same way that Kamado Joe has done? Um, I very much doubt that. Um, Kamado Joe have a patent uh, on that um, in, the way, in the same way we have patents on some of our stuff, uh, Big Green Egg stuff. Um, so I, uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, there is, you, the jotisserie does fit on the Big Green Egg, so if you want to buy that, you can. Uh, there's also a third uh, party product that's coming out of Holland um, and I will link to that. I can't think of the name off the top of my head. Uh, it's similar price to the Jotisserie. Um, so um, you, can, uh, you can buy that. Um, uh, have, you cooked the rice? have I cooked the rice? So yes. Uh, the rice in here is cold. We cooked it this morning. Uh, so I just cooked it like normal. It's long grain rice, cooked like normal and then ran it under cold water to cool it down quickly. And then it's been in the fridge ever since. Um, it's that shape because that's the colander turned out the other way. Uh, but when we put it in, we'll break it up. Um, but yes, the rice is cooked and it's cold. Um, the key with any rice dish uh, is to keep, is to, um, rice is the, the, the one dish that gives uh, most people food poisoning. So, um, so you've got to keep it cold. So get it in the fridge, cool it down as fast as you can. So I run it under cold water and get it in the fridge. Um, you could use a light olive oil instead of ground nut oil. That's one of the questions that's just come in. Uh, however, um, brown nut has got a different flavour. You'll just get a slightly different flavour. Um, when cooking with olive oil, please use uh, just a normal olive oil, not an extra virgin. Extra virgin is really just for salads. So anyway, eggs up to 180 degrees. We're going to open this up. You can see it's smoking away nicely. And Andy, you might want to get in here. Uh, and what I'm going to do get my rice in so you can hear that crackling away um, so we'll get that in and we'll start warming that up I'm gonna move it around a little bit now we've obviously got the lid open um, so the temperature is gonna rise um, but while this is doing this stage I just want I don't want to burn it I'm just gonna spread it out a bit so it heats up fairly quickly and then we'll pull the lid shut. Um, what is key to doing um, cooking with a wok is a good set of gloves. Um, I don't use the big green egg ones. Um, uh, I use these ones from Amazon. Um, they work, they're pretty much exactly the same thing. They work perfectly well. So, uh, um, but yeah, the big green egg silicon gloves are the ones I'd recommend. Um, they, uh, the, the cloth ones, if you get them wet and you then pick up something hot, that's, they will steam and they'll burn your hands. So uh, my preference is the silicon ones. So yeah, so we're going to get in. Now I've seasoned this wok and there's uh, videos on my website about how to season this. There's videos on YouTube about how to season this. Um, so I'll post links to those. Um, but yeah, the seasoning just means we're put it, getting it hot with oil in it and that should create uh, make it non-stick essentially. And we're getting a little bit sticking at the bottom, but not a lot. So we'll let that warm up a little bit. Back down with the lid. Keep that, you want to keep that temperature, keep it in control. Don't let it get too hot, you'll burn everything. Um, so just keep that temperature down. You can see this is racing up again, um, just because we keep opening the lid, letting all that oxygen in there. It's just like any other cooking on the egg. Right. In we go. Hang on a sec, Helena. Say that again. Have you done a how to season your wok video? Yes, yes, there is a how to season your wok video, that's what I've just said. Yeah. Right. Now the fun bit. So Andy, you'll want to see in here. What we're going to do is just create a space in the middle. I'm gonna get my egg. And get it in there. I'm going to break it. Let it cook. Now, don't mix it in with the rice because it will make your rice go soggy. Just get the egg 
and let it cook first. You can bash it around, a bit like a scrambled egg. Now you can see it's in there. Now we can mix it in. And that will stop your uh, rice going soggy. You can see the rice, it's looking lovely. I'm happy with that. So now it's time for um, some soy sauce. A little bit of oyster sauce. I'm gonna get my spring onions in there. Got some peas, a few peas. And then we'll mix that around. that a minute just to warm through and then we can get that and serve that one. So if I grab a pot, not sure this is going to be big enough but we'll find out won't we. <laughs> it's the first time I've thought about putting it in one of these pots so it doesn't always go right. Right. Oops, bits a bit out there. There we go. Nick, yeah. Can you use the standard wok on the stainless steel grill? Um, yes, I cook. Uh, so the question was, can you use a standard wok on the stainless steel grid? Uh, yes, you could. Um, as long as the handle, um, you might have to take the handle off because um, you want to get this, get it all inside the egg and be able to shut the lid. Um, I'm probably going to need another pot here. Let me just grab another one. Um, so yes, um, for years I used a cast iron uh, wok that had, was similar sort of shape to this one that my other sister-in-law gave me um, and um, it worked perfectly. Um, these though allow you just to um, allow you to um, heat up a lot quicker than a cast iron one uh, so they work a treat. Right, I'm going to put a bit of water in this and clean it up a little bit on the heat and then we'll move on. Oh, didn't burp it. You saw me do that. Yeah, do remember to burp your egg there. I've got my arm hairs as usual. Just that little bit of water in there, and you'll see them do it. If you're going to a, a proper Chinese kitchen, you'll see them doing that. A uh, little bit of uh, water in there, it'll loosen everything up. Um, and then you can uh, uh, just clean it out. I'm just gonna tip this down my sink, which I can do. Pop that up there. And we'll grab a little bit of kitchen towel. Excuse me for one second. Then we'll wipe it out and then we can move on to dish number two. Any questions while I'm doing this, Helena? Uh, no. Uh, will, will it be available for watch later? Uh, it will be available for 24 hours. That's how um, IGTV works. Um, if we work out how to download it, um, then it's the first time we've done it then uh, yes we'll, we'll put it up. <laughs> are the birds in the background from a sound machine? Yes the birds in the background are from a sound machine. No, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we are fortunate to live in the country which is lovely. Uh, I'm surprised you haven't got the ducks at the moment. Uh, we've got um, six resident ducks that live on our roof. Um, they, they nest on there, or not nest, they perch up there every, every morning. Um, they were there about half an hour ago, um, so we often get quite a lot of quacking with our classes when we're running the classes here. Right, dish number two, let me get rid of this. Oh, and if you wanted a um, little drizzle of sesame oil over the rice, you can do that as well. Um, that will just give it some extra flavour. Right, good morning, apparently we've got big green egg. The official account on here, so morning, whoever that is today. Um, Nick, the lid of your egg opens very wide, is that normal? Yes, this is the old style band. Um, it's got the old style hinge on there, um, so this one opens really wide and that's why I love cooking on this one. 
Um, I did a video yesterday about underbite. Um, people uh, change these bands out um, for the new style, the Quadrilink bands. Um, they change them out uh, because they get underbite. You don't have to. Um, I did a whole video about that, so look that up. Um, but the, the old style opens much wider and it's much better for doing um, photography like this. So that's why I use this egg. Um, this egg's seven and, seven and a bit years old now. Um, still going strong. So, yeah, right. Dish number two. I'm going to get in there, take my. What? Well, I should have cleaned that a little bit. I've got another one over here. Grab that. So, again, a bit of brown nut oil in there very quickly. You can see it smoking hot. I'm going to get some garlic and chili in there, uh, garlic and ginger. And I'm going to give those a very quick swizz around in that. That's probably long enough. And then we're going to go in with some onion and some diced carrot. Uh, and I'm going to put a tiny bit more oil on that. Mix those around. And we'll give those a few seconds. So the carrot and the onion are going to take that little bit longer to cook than the chicken, uh, than the other things. So once we've got this, uh, this done for a minute or so, then we'll put the chicken, uh, chicken in there. I'm going to knock the egg back. We keep opening it. So I'm just going to clamp it down a little bit to reduce that temperature. I don't want it to get too hot. Um, lifting the lid, we're letting that oxygen in there so we do need to control it. Helena, any questions? Uh, no, not at this point. Okay, I'll carry on cooking then. So let's get in there and move it around. I did burp at that time. And you can see, we're getting a bit of color on that already. So we don't need to be in there too much longer. Let's get the chicken in there. That's gonna take the next, um, and that's just uh, two chicken breasts um, sliced fairly thinly, so you can see. Yes, the wooden spoons, these bamboo spoons come with the wok. Um, so if you buy a big green egg wok, they, they're, they're, they come with it so you can get in there and stir it. I mean, if you're going to do a lot of cooking, you might want to swap it out for a metal one, which is what I'll probably do. Um, I wasn't very careful with this one. You can see it's missing a side. Um, I've got to glue it back on, but I'll probably just replace it with a metal one. Um, yeah, I damaged that. So in we go but they're really handy for getting in and stirring. You see that chicken's cooking really quickly yes. in there. Right. Is there a noticeable flavour difference using the big green egg versus the pork when cooking with a wok? Okay, the question was, is there a noticeable flavour difference when cooking with a wok uh, on your egg than cooking with a wok on the hog? Um, I think there is. I think you get that slight smokiness, um, but I like to do it outside because this sort of cooking is messy. Um, and I prefer to make the mess in the garden. Pretty much all of my cooking's done out here because I am one messy chef. Um, I had a different t-shirt on until about 30 seconds before the video. Two different t-shirts in, I'm being pointed by my lovely camera because I've already <laughs> spilled stuff down them this morning. So uh, um, I, prefer, I prefer to cook like this. So if Andy, if you take a look in there, you can see the chicken's going nicely. So now we can get in with our uh, bamboo shoots. Our water chestnuts. I'm going to put a bit of chili in there to spice this all up. So I've got about just over half a table, a teaspoon of chili flakes. Um, so I'm going to cook that for a few seconds, and then we'll go in with the sauces, and we're pretty much done on this dish. Um, unfortunately, you can't get a big green egg wok to fit the medium. Um, uh, not that I'm aware of. Um, you might want to pose that question to Big Green Egg themselves. Um, I don't, um, at the moment, I, I'm pretty sure that you can't. Um, but there's nothing to stop you buying a wok like pan. Um, there is a range called Tefal Ingenio um, that are pans that have a handle that detach. They are brilliant. We use them all the time for um, things like tart to tan and so on. And they come in all different shapes and sizes. And the fact that the handle comes off means that you can get them in your egg. So, um, have a look at um, the Tefal Ingenio. Uh, they're all over Amazon. Um, have a look at those for, for, your, um, for your medium. Um, this is the side, this wok fits in the large and the extra large.
Right, in with the sauces. So a bit of a bit of soy, a bit of rice wine vinegar, a whole load of hoisin, 120 millilitres of hoisin. I'll post these recipes. Um, so those are all going in. You can give those a mix up. Oh, it smells. <laughs> What's that? Mr. White is in the queue. Oh, Paul White. Oh, Paul, hello. Um, he's in the queue at Sainsbury's watching me. Um, brilliant. Um, he's down in Devon. Uh, a friend of mine that I've known for years was at uni with him. And then the last thing we're going to put in are some toasted um, cashews. Um, toasted them earlier. We'll get those in there. And that is dish two ready. So I'll grab another one of our tubs or another two. I might have to send my question person off to get another set. So let's get these out. I'll bring them up here, it's probably easier. It's raging in there, which is great. Um, so let's use our tool. Yeah, you might want to jump in Andy so you can see this, but it's difficult for me to hold because it's mm -hmm. so hot, but uh, uh, we'll get in there. So this, I guess, dinner is enough for four, maybe six. Depends how hungry you are, I guess. Uh, so I'm just going to, probably doesn't look great on camera, but it will speed it up. Um, Steffi's asked how, how do I know when the chicken is cooked? Um, it will be cooked through, it's been in there long enough. Um, I could I could grab a thermo pen, I could prod it, So, but I can see all of this sauce is boiling and we put it into a pot, it's gonna cook through. That is definitely cooked in my opinion, but you could prod it with a thermo pen. And I know Steffi and Ad have a thermo pen. Um, one of my class customers. Just give this a little rinse round. Sink. Just drying that off. And we'll get that back in just to clean itself up now and dry out. Dish two done, let me just tidy up dish two. Just move these out of the way. I should put them somewhere else, shouldn't I? Right, any questions, Helena? No, not this one. This time? Right, let's get on with dish three then. This is gonna be epic. Can you grab me two more lids? Just yes. so I can cover these last two when we're done. In fact, we might have them for lunch. Right. So we're in there. A little bit of ground nut oil, get in, get your wok seasoned again. Um, so I've got quite a few things here. Um, the toughest are the carrots and the beans, so they're gonna go in first. So we'll get those going. And we'll give those just a few seconds to get going. Lovely. Thank you. She obviously thinks I'm going to cook a lot today. We've got 15 pots, 27 lids. Um, I've only got one lot of dish, dishes left. So, right, let's stir those. All the time, just keep them moving around. You get in there, Andy. Mm. You should see those looking great. So next we're going to go in with our onions. So I've got a whole chopped onion. I've sliced it relatively thinly. Uh, so we'll get in there with that. Let's break it up and then we can start stirring it. What we're trying to do is just judge um, when each of the ingredients are going to cook um, so that they're all roughly cooked at the same time. Oh, 
I'll open it up a tiny bit. Can you just remind people the temperature? Temp, please. Yeah, so quick reminder on the temperature we've been asked for. It's about 180. It's really difficult to tell because I'm opening it and it's getting hot and then I'm closing it and the temperature's going down. But I'm aiming for roughly 180. But that's enough fire underneath your wok that you'll have a good amount of temperature in there. If you cook any um, faster than that, the chances are you're going to... Um, uh, you're going to catch things more quickly. You've just got to be on it, on your game a bit. Um, you can cook a lot hotter. If you go into a Chinese restaurant and you watch them, they'll, they've got these um, pedals where they turn the burners right up and the flames come up. Um, essentially, you could open the top more and do that. So just creeping up to around 200. So um, I'm going to open another little stir in there. My onions are just starting to brown. looking fab in there so now we can go into some mushrooms now I've just got button mushrooms or, or just closed cut mushrooms um, I couldn't get any shiitake mushrooms um, uh, so we're just going to use those we'll get some peppers in there and we'll start those cooking all the time just moving it around you can see nothing sticking here because we've seasoned that wok and that's the key bit to this so we're just dry frying really really healthy way of doing it um, until you add all the sauces in about 20 seconds time so I've got some more bamboo shoots so I'll get those in as well and then last thing to go in will be these prawns I'm going to give everything a couple of it's nearly there you can see all the veg is starting to soften up nicely you want a bit of crunch on those so I'm happy with those. I'm going to get our prawns in there. Um, I've got them with the, uh, the heads off but shells on. You could uh, buy sh um, de uh, um, shelled ones. So we've got some soy going in, about a tablespoon. We've got um, some hoisin. Uh, in fact, that's oyster sauce, that one. Bit of oyster sauce going in there. We've got some hoisin going in. Um, I'll give you the uh, quantities and some sweet chili sauce just to give, lift it, that, give it that sugary element. We'll get that in there. Oh look, I forgot my garlic and uh, ginger. It should have gone in earlier, but we'll do them now. That won't matter. But it'll just be a bit more pungent. So and we'll start moving those around. You can see that looks great. And you can see the prawns are already starting to, to color. Um, so we'll get that in, the, in there. Pull the lid down. I'm going to have a quick nose blow, sorry. And I'll wash my hands. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> Hope you're singing happy birthday twice, Andy. You're not talking on camera this week. <laughs> uh, someone's just asked, can you still buy the old type of hinge for the kids? Uh, you can't still buy the old type of hinge as far as I'm aware. Um, that's a question for Big Green Egg. So if, you want, um, if, you, if you're desperate to get it, um, it, it just allows it to be open a bit more. But you could do all of this with, with the, you know, this one here um, is the, the new style. Um, you can still get the wok in there, you can still do that. Um, so. Yeah, you're fine with that. Just, just for camera, it makes it easier to get in. So Andy, if you come and have a look at this now. Look at that. Those prawns have gone deliciously pink. Um, all the sauce in here bubbling away. The veg looking great. So we'll just mix that up. Give it another minute just to make sure those prawns are done. Don't want to overcook them, but don't want them undercooked. Um, and then I'm going to sprinkle on some... Uh, um, spring onions just to give it a bit of crunch so we'll get those in now so I give that a minute that is looking delish so these recipes have come from two different books um, I don't make all my recipes up um, I will link this from my page I'll put this up but this one's uh, uh, called Chinese cookbook, uh, Chinese takeaway cookbook. Um, there is there's two or 
two in the series. There's a, a pure vegetarian one that's bright green and there's this bright red one. Um, great. And then the other book I've used is one that I picked up years ago um, in Australia. Um, it's Australia Women's Weekly um, Asian Cookbook. It's fabulous. I've had it for probably 20 years. Uh, I don't know if you can still get it, uh, but I'll link that one if you can as well. So let's get a couple of these pots. This one's playing hard to get. Wow. These two do not want to come apart. There you go. And we'll grab this and pull it out. Yeah, the only thing with the old style hinge, you've got to make sure it is fully open, otherwise it, it, it can fall shut on you. Um, it doesn't happen very often, but I have, it has happened to me once. So I'm going to grab that, pull it out, stick it on my little uh, heat proof table. I'm done with my egg, so I'm going to shut the top, I'm going to shut the bottom, and I'm going to let that go out. And in the meantime, I'm going to serve these into my takeaway dishes for that authentic Saturday night takeaway. Now you could um, you could uh, store these and reheat them as we all do with Chinese. Um, I don't advise you do that. Um, I'd get in there straight away while it's fresh. Um, fresh and tasting amazing. Um, but I think you know both of these or all three of these dishes you'd be happy to get from your local Chinese. Um, so why not have a crack at cooking them on your own at uh, home? Uh, the woks, uh, use your own wok or get a wok and then expand the basket um, from Big Green Egg. Um, I'm uh, the cook school, Big uh, Meat Smoke Fire is set up as a, a Big Green Egg reseller. So, you know, do feel free to contact me. Um, or what, any of the other dealers. I know that um, Joe Cook was on the, uh, on the feed earlier. Joe from Cooks and Company. Um, uh, up in Newark, lovely showroom, some cracking um, products in there. Uh, one of my favourite places I've cooked with Joe and his dad. Uh, we cooked, catered for, a, or I catered for a uh, 150 odd people who were doing a triathlon or a duathlon uh, in aid of uh, cancer research, um, something close to my heart. So I, I did that with Joe and his dad. So, um, hi Joe, if you're still on. A couple of questions. Steffi asked, how easy it to fit the new series? Uh, Steffi asked how easy it's it fit, fit new seals um, the gasket she's talking about here this is a brand new gasket this um, grey one I shot a video on it uh, in the week uh, it's had something like 250 300 um, views it's not difficult you need a couple of tools um, but yeah not difficult at all um, so go for it um, the gaskets are available from Big Green Egg I'm going to take these over to our, our, our our table, we can have our authentic Chinese for lunch. Any other questions, people? Uh, someone's made an observation it's quite hard to get the egg expander and all the kit in when on the new egg with the phone that's a bit tough. Any pointers? Yes, so on the new egg, difficult to get all the expander and all the kit in at once. So um, this one is cold. I've got the basket and one level. Um, there is another level to it. Uh, let me just find you one. found the grubbiest one ever again um, so what they're saying is it's difficult to and that slides back and hooks back there uh, this is the new expander system it's difficult to get all of this in and out with the lid like that um, what I'd say to you is just take the top layer off and then lift the bottom layer out fairly simple that's how I do it um, but yes because of the way the lid only opens that far it is a little bit tricky Helena other questions do you do takeaway? <laughs> do I do takeaway? No, I don't. <laughs> we don't have a license to serve food, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but uh, yeah, we 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 don't we we don't, yeah we we have we've got um, we're registered as cook school, so we can uh, you can come here, you can spend a day with us cooking, um, but yeah, we don't have a license to to sell food, um, so we give food away. Any I other questions? No, I'll just ask if there's any suggestions for next live class. Someone has asked about fish again. So, um, so yeah, we've had, for any other classes, we, you know, we may do these every other week or something like that. Depends on what your the demand is. Um, so let us know what you'd like us to cook. Um, we've had one there for fish, so maybe we'll do some fish next time. We cooked um, some beautiful um, 
Um, chorizo baked cod, uh, uh, cod fillets earlier in the week on the egg uh, in one of the cast iron skillets. That worked really well. Um, but yeah, we could do a fish, uh, fish video. We've got a fresh fish fan that comes to visit us every week, so uh, that, that can be done. Um, okay, so we've got um, bread. Is, so, have you got a video on temp control? Have I got a video on temp control? Uh, no, I don't, but on, if you look at my website uh, under tips and technique, I think it is on the top right-hand side, there is a, a piece that says um, setting the temperature on your big green egg. Um, and it shows um, both for the new regulator top, which is this one, uh, and for the old daisy wheel, which is that. Uh, it shows what settings you need roughly for this, for that, and for the draft door at the bottom. Um, I always control the temperature uh, through the egg using both, not just one. You, you, you get a lot of these videos, uh, uh, a lot of these comments from the guys in the States um, who will say, oh, you only ever need to move one. Um, the re reason they only ever need to move one is their eggs are absolutely filthy inside, full of ash, and the airflow is, is appalling. Um, so um, if you've got a nice clean egg like uh, mine are normally inside, um, you need to do it with both, and that's how we recommend you do it. A lot of requests for a brisket class. A lot of requests for a brisket class. Uh, yeah, that would be interesting. Um, when you come to one of my um, cook classes, we talk about um, brisket and pulled pork. Um, brisket tends to take uh, somewhere between 15 and 18 hours. Um, so it's gonna be a pretty dull video. Um, but no, I can talk you through the techniques and show you finished, um, medium and so on. Um, we could do that. Uh, we'll try and, uh, try and arrange that one, see if we can get a sponsor for the meat, because trying to do that would be uh, relatively expensive. You know, a bit of, you really want to be cooking a decent sized brisket, somewhere between three and five kilos, and I'd need to do it with a couple of them. Um, you know, and those things cost 60, 70 quid each. So, well, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. It's not impossible. Helena. Uh, so pizza, pizza class, okay, we we'll, could do that. That's not impossible. Um, uh, bread class, I've heard. Bread and pork belly and a pork belly class okay yeah yeah we've got there's a great recipe in fact it's the most popular recipe on my website uh, for a slow uh, cooked slow roasted pork belly um, the key to doing a good pork belly is to um, leave it um, take it out of the packet um, leave it in your fridge overnight uncovered that will let the skin dry out and then I always cook them skin side down so score it put lots of salt lots of uh, molten salt, lots of oil on it, and then cook it skin side down at 110 degrees above the plate setter or the convector um, and leave it for eight, eight, nine hours. What you're trying to do is get it to that point where the connective tissue melts. Um, and then at that point, if it hasn't already crackled, then you can turn your egg up to about 220 degrees, watch it like a hawk, and it will crackle the whole lot in about 15 minutes. What about paella? That would be a good class. A paella class. Yes, there is a, a crack. Well, unfortunately, yeah, a cracking um, paella pan. We'll, we'll, we'll see if we can find an, a, a different version, but Big Green Egg have a paella pan. Um, I believe it's being phased out for some stupid reason. Um, um, that's my understanding. But um, um, I have a few of them here, so I could do a paella class. Um, paella is great fun. Um, we do make paella on our mini mats, which is one of them's over there. Um, we make that in one of those Tefal Ingenio pans that I talked about earlier. So uh, have a look at those. Um, look at my, uh, I'll, I'll put a page up on the website and if you, if any of these products that I, I link, you know, I get a tiny kickback on them. Um, so yeah, if you buy a, a 200 pound set of pans from Amazon, I can make about 35p, uh, but it all helps in this day and age. Anything else? Then? Perfect. So, um, it's 10 past 12. Um, if there's anything else you want us to cover in other videos, just let us know. We're shooting videos during the week, I uh, have been. Um, I'd like to just do a couple of thanks. Um, so um, thanks to um, Hannah, Caroline, Amy, Nikki, um, all of customer service at Big Green Egg. Um, after doing the last video, they have been flat out, which is fabulous, um, but they're doing an amazing job. Um, the other people to thank, of course, are the guys in the warehouse. So Carl and his team um, sending out eggs um, 
Um, so, you know, thanks to those guys. They're helping you guys as customers. I know a lot of people on this video have bought stuff over the last couple of weeks uh, through me. So, um, you know, thank you to those guys uh, who uh, are doing an amazing job at the moment. Um, the weather's helping. Uh, looks like the sun's about to come out. Um, but yeah, thanks to those guys. Any other final questions? Uh, no. Okay. Well, in that case, let's just do a mini dish up, shall we? Shall we get a spoon in here and just show you what we've got? Unless anyone's desperate for me to do a load and light. Um, but let's get some um, rice out. Come on over, Andy, and have a look. We've got just some rice into the bowl, some more fried rice. We'll grab some of our chicken and cashew. The stainless fire bowl is already back in stock for the large, um, for the extra large, um, I don't know, that's a question for Big Green Egg customer services. Um, I can ask that when I speak to them during the week. Um, but yeah, so the, the, if you're after the large fire bowl, that is back in stock, or it was yesterday. Um, so yeah, anyway. There you go, Chinese, um, quick Chinese, cooked on your big green egg for a Saturday night. How's that? So guys, I think we'll, uh, we'll stop that there. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you want to feed back to us, uh, my email is nick at meatsmokefire, so that's uh, .co.uk, so nick with no K at meatsmokefire.co.uk. Phone number is on my website, uh, meatsmokefire.co.uk. Um, cooking classes at the moment are suspended. Um, when we um, know we can run them again, we will um, uh, invite those people who we've cancelled, had to cancel unfortunately, uh, they'll be invited to, to book the new classes a week ahead of everyone else and then we'll open them up to the, to the public. Um, so the extra large fire bowls not available until July. Okay, so um, we've, somebody's posted, Nikki. Nikki has posted, thank you Nikki. Um, the extra large fire bowl won't be available until July. So Nikki's customer services. Thank you, Nikki. Um, so perfect. Right. Oh, someone oh. just said, what's the value and benefit of the stainless steel uh, fire basket? Value and benefit of the stainless steel fire basket. Um, they allow better air control. So let me pull one out here. Let me just show you them. Um, so um, if I grab it, well, first one, you can pick all your charcoal up in a basket like that and then you can walk over to your bin i'll do it on a flower bed how about that <laughs> follow me around andy give it a wiggle all your ash has now fallen out on your flowers or on your bin um, so it makes cleaning out really easy so we've done that um, you'll see uh, in the bottom of this and if you look um, there's very little ash in there um, so you end up cleaning your egg out um, a lot less but you also because of these and if you tip up here Andy um, because of all the the, uh, the um, holes drilled into the basket both the bottom and up the sides you get um, really good airflow so your egg gets going faster um, and it's just easier to lift it out look I've just lifted it out I'm clean pretty much um, so makes it easier to clean it will light faster um, but you don't need them, you don't have to have them. I've only got them in, well, a few of my eggs. The end one hasn't got one, not yet. Oh, Nigel. Well, let's show him these, get it better. So, um, Nigel is a friend of mine uh, who I worked with. Whoops, have a look at those, Nigel. Um, Nigel travels the world in a camper van when he's allowed. Uh, with an old school friend of mine. I introduced him to his uh, now wife. Um, so nice to have you on, Nigel. Anyone else? No, I think that's it. Everyone, lots of thank you. Thank Perfect. You. Looking forward to the next class. Perfect. Well, thank you for joining us today. Hopefully you've had fun. We, and we've enjoyed it. Had, you know, the one two weeks ago for Big Green Egg was fabulous. Um, we, you know, I don't know what numbers we've had today. Nowhere near as many as we had two weeks ago, but we don't have the pushing, you know, the, the, the power. Okay, quite a few, more than I hoped for, so that's great, great. So we will do these going forward. Anyway, thank you, thank you for my team here.
Um, have a great weekend. The sun's coming back out. Get out there, get using your eggs. Uh, if you've got any questions, then do feel free to contact us and hopefully we can sort you out. Brilliant.